Explain the principle of atomic absorption spectrometer. When the salt solution is put into the flame, the first solvent is vaporized. The tiny particles of solute molecules are produced, which on further heating in the flame are converted into gaseous molecules. These molecules dissociate into atoms. Some of the atoms are excited. Unexcited atoms will absorb their characteristic radiations. AAS or Atomic Absorption Spectrometer is concerned with this part of light which is absorbed by the unexcited atoms present in the ground state. This absorption depends on number of unexcited atoms present and hence it is independent of the flame temperature. It is possible if the course of radiation is made up of same element which is going to be analyzed. For example, if the sample solution of sodium chloride is to be analyzed, source of radiation must be sodium vapors. So let's discuss about the brief overview of the process. The solvent is first evaporated leaving finely divided solid particles. These solid particles move towards the flame where the gases atoms and ions are produced. Some of the ions absorb the energy from the flame and get excited to high energy levels. Remaining atoms remaining ions will be excited from the external source. So the decrease in intensity of radiation is measured. The decrease in intensity of transmitted light is related to the concentration of the unexcited atoms. The absorption of radiation follow the Beer-Lambert's law as each element absorb the radiations of its own characteristic therefore separate source of radiations is required log of it by i0 is equals to k l n0 where i0 is the intensity of incident radiation and it is the intensity of radiations transmitted k is the characteristic constant l is the path length of flame in centimeter n0 is the number of atoms in the ground state if you like this video please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for the further updates